So I wanted to bring this story to you guys after I saw the headline because I want to continue to highlight the issue of knife crime that we have in the UK and how it doesn't only affect teenagers and gang members, rather there's a wider issue that needs looking at. The other day we took a look into a story coming out of Maida Vale in West London where 41 year old Leon McCaskey stalked and hunted his ex-wife Yasmin Shkafi. Sadly, Yasmin would succumb to her injuries. In a quick update into that situation before we continue, for anyone who doesn't know, a man had actually drove his car into Leon in an attempt to stop the knife attack. That driver would go on to kill Leon, meaning both Yasmin and Leon would end up dead. But the driver was arrested on murder charges. After public outcry and an investigation by the Metropolitan Police, however, the driver was let go without charge. So as you can see, these brazen attacks don't just apply to gang members, it's a layered issue. Today's story then takes us up to Chelmsford, just northeast of London, and we're getting reports that a 19-year-old teenager by the name of Ashley Wadsworth has been pronounced dead following a disturbance at a block of flats. You see, emergency services were called to Tennyson Road in Chelmsford at around 4pm, on Tuesday the 1st of February 2021 to reports of a disturbance. When they arrived, they discovered that 19-year-old Ashley had been stabbed to death and she was pronounced dead at the scene. Police would go on to arrest a 23-year-old man by the name of Jack Seppel on a suspicion of murder and he's since gone on to be charged. But who exactly was Ashley Wadsworth? Well, she wasn't from the UK and if you've seen the title of this video, then you'll know that she's from Canada. Vernon, British Columbia to be more exact. The reason she'd flown over to the UK was to see her boyfriend who she'd met online, Jack Seppel, who has since gone on to be charged with her murder. Believe it or not, Ashley had been scheduled to fly back home to see her family today as I'm recording this video. She'd only been in the country since November. It was supposed to be a birthday present for her and since she touched down, she's been spending time with Jack taken in the sights, according to some news reports. So how it's gone from a holiday of her dreams, as described by her family, to her ending up being stabbed to death, we won't know until further court hearings. But according to a witness who asked not to be named, they said that they heard police talk about various stab injuries. He suggested that she had fell victim to a frenzied knife attack. But this is a developing story and that is all the information we have so far. Of course, if I do get updates coming out of this situation, as always, I will keep you guys posted on this one. But give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Hancho, and I'll see you in the next one. Police have been here since Tuesday uh, when they were called to the scene here at this uh, apartment building in Chelmsford in uh, Essex uh, because of a disturbance. And this is where the 19 year old from Vernon, B.C., Ashley Wadsworth, was killed. As you can see, um, some people from the area have gathered uh, today to lay flowers at the scene. Police uh, still have the area cordoned off. Um, as I say, police were called here on Tuesday afternoon. Um, paramedics were called as well. Uh, they were not able to revive the 19 year old. Our understanding is that she had traveled here in November to be with her boyfriend, 23 year old Jack Seppel, who has now been charged with her murder. He was uh, appearing in court a short distance from here earlier today. As you can see, heartbreaking scenes here in Essex uh, today, Heather, as people come to grips with what has happened. And we can see police right there over your shoulder, Thomas. What are they telling you about the status of the investigation, what they think happened? Police are only saying that uh, since the man has now been charged, they're not going to provide further comment, but they say they're going to be here on the scene for the next few days. And they've said specialist officers uh, have been in touch with the family to support them in British Columbia. Uh, we've also been in touch uh, with the family, and I, and I believe we have a clip from a phone conversation that one of our colleagues in British Columbia had with the uh, stepmother of Ashley Wadsworth, if we're able to play that clip now. You're just remembering how strong and smart and witty Ashley was and how kind she was and how she was always 10 steps ahead of all of us. And uh, she'll be dearly missed by each and every one of us. 
High Commission of Canada in the United Kingdom has told us uh, that uh, they are uh, available to provide consular services to the family if needed. But again, our understanding is that um, Ashley Wadsworth had traveled here to the UK in November to be with the man who, uh, according to police now, is charged with her murder.